Good evening. Good evening. It is so great to see so many of you. Many of you are still coming in, and some of you up upstairs, I suppose you're going to, you've been told that you need to move a bit because the choir is going to leave, and 140 children will be coming up there. And unless you want to share a seat, uh, just pay attention to what the ushers tell you, and all will be well. All will be well. It'll be fine. Good evening. My name is Michael Smith, and I'd like to welcome you to the University of Missouri-St. Louis and the Two Hill Performing Arts Center. Uh, we have been on hiatus for the past three years, and we are thrilled to be back with the 2023 Desley Fine Arts Festival. It's wonderful to be back in person, isn't it? Yeah. It, it's wonderful to see this house so filled with all of you, and it's been wonderful to see this building filled with your students. Music students and visual students have been working hard with clinicians, their teachers, and with one another in rehearsals and workshops throughout the day, and I know they're very much looking forward to sharing the fruits of their hard labor with you today. As the banner, oh my gosh, it's lit, finally, good, excellent. As the banner stage left, which was out but is now back on, also indicates, I and the other Desley Endowed professors work hard to connect St. Louis through educational and community partnerships. We, like our namesake founder, E. Desmond Lee, are all strongly believe that education matters. Further, we in the Desley Fine Arts Education Collaboratively believe that the arts matter. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being here this evening. But even more, thank you for all the support you provide these students throughout the year and over the years. The arts, music, drama, visual arts, dance, these are not just frills in the school curriculum. They are not extra. They are not extracurricular. From research and personal experience, we know that the arts help us all, including these wonderful students, to live lives that are richer because they, are, they have studied the arts. Research shows us that music helps us sharpen our minds. It helps us to think more carefully. The arts touches our hearts and helps us to feel more deeply. And through wonderful experiences such as this festival, the arts help us also to share more generously with one another. New friends and acquaintances have been made here today through, throughout the rehearsals and experiences of this festival day, and now as we gather in this beautiful concert hall to celebrate the results of this day's activities, we celebrate and enjoy community, something we haven't been able to do for a while. Events, uh, I'd like to uh, acknowledge some, uh, some individuals. Events such as this festival just don't happen. They require much support. And I'd like to take this opportunity, first of all, to thank Ms. Patricia Zahn. She's Director of Community Engagement and Development here at the University of St. Louis. Uh, she's also engaged as the President of the School Board in the Afton Public Schools, so she has to be there tonight. But she sends her greetings. I'd also like to thank Professor Joanna Mendoza, Music Department Chair, for her unflagging support for the collaborative and for the many other fine programs in the music department here at UMSL. Professor Mendoza, are you here? Of course, we remember our founder, E. Desmond Lee, whose vision and generosity helped, helped to create the Desley Fine Arts Education Collaborative. But I'd also like to thank uh, um, uh, UMSL Chancellor Kristen Sobolik, Dean Frank Grady, and the other UMSL administrators who tangibly support this evening's event and others like it through ongoing university funding and staffing support. And an enormous thank you to the fine staff of the Two Hill Performing Arts Center. We have had a full crew, sound, lights, stage. It's just been amazing. And they have been amazing all day. And we just couldn't have done it. And it's just been a day that's flowed so well. Sorry about the little glitch at the door, but we had a last moment with the lights. But things are on track now. Uh, we'd also, also like to sincerely thank and recognize another special group of people and those would be the music teachers and the visual arts teachers, those teachers who are here with us this evening, and they too have been here all day. It's been a long day for them as well, and just as they show up today, they show up day in and day out throughout the school year to support, teach, and encourage your students. So I'd like to, take, to ask all the music and art teachers who are here with us in this hall this evening, would you please stand and be recognized for the good work that you do?
I'd also uh, like to offer my sincere thanks and great appreciation to the chairs and organizers of each festival group that you will hear perform this evening. Uh, you'll, you'll hear from each of them throughout the evening, and um, I thank them so much. We couldn't do it without them. Thank you for all of your leadership uh, chairs and the hard work that you put in to make this evening possible. Uh, and finally, but certainly not least of all, thank you, parents, families, and friends of these fine students. I know that our clinicians today have been particularly pleased and delighted to work with your, your young people. They have been amazing, amazing. Just wonderful, wonderful people. It's been a complete delight. Uh, I applaud you, and I invite you, yourself, to give yourself a round of applause for all that you do. So, enough nattering from me. To begin the concert this evening, I'd like to introduce the chairs of the 2023 Desley Festival Choir. Please welcome Mrs. Carolyn I and Mr. Todd Oberlin. Good evening, and again, welcome to the E. Desmond Lee Music Festival at this beautiful Two Hill Performing Arts Center here on the campus of University of Missouri, St. Louis. I'm Todd Oberlin, Director of Choirs at McClure North High School. And I'm Caroline Ibn Abdel Jalil, Director of Choral Activities for the School District of University City. It is our pleasure to introduce the 2023 Honor Choir and their illustrious clinician to you this evening. Today has been such a really wonderful day. It has been a pleasure watching and listening to this fine group of young musicians that you're about to hear. It is always so exciting to watch young people come together having never met or performed with one another. Dr. Henry told the students when he began rehearsals today that this is the one and only time that this choir will be instated so that we are truly making history with our group today. When asked about his experience today, one student said that his favorite part was breaking off into sectionals, giving us a better chance to focus on our part. He continued by stating he learned that even though the music might look hard, it's not really that hard because we got to work together in order to get the most out of it here today. Another student mentioned that her favorite part of the day was singing with all of the other kids. She said, I love singing with big groups of people. I love that even though we come from different schools and this is our first time together, we are making music with one big, beautiful voice. We would like to say thank you to the parents. Thank you for supporting your children in music. And if you are a parent or guardian here today, thank you for supporting our students. And also, thank you to the individual directors previously recognized for taking the time out of their busy school and family schedules, preparing the students and supporting them in their music education. Under your leadership, your students are perfect examples of the excellence the arts has. Dr. James Henry is the Director of Choral Studies here at the University of Missouri, St. Louis. He is a world-renowned performer, clinician, teacher, and just a really, really, really cool person. Under his direction today, the students have achieved a high level of musical awareness and concern. And now, it is time to showcase all of the efforts and achievements from the day, so please help us in welcoming the 2023 E. Desmond Lee Festival Honor Choir under the direction of Dr. James Henry. No. Is the, oh, well. Hey, I'm going to say some a couple things really quick, and then I won't talk at all later. Uh, first of all, this has been, we've done many, I started working here in 2004, and I started immediately doing Des Lee festivals, and I will say this publicly in front of them and in front of you. This has been the best Des Lee choir we've ever had at UMSL. These students are amazing. <laughs> Thank you. 
All of you parents are raising them right because they came focused and they stayed focused. They worked hard. They have really like sweet souls. They came together. They worked together. It was, it's been an inspirational day. I just want to tell you super quickly about the um, three pieces. This first piece is a wonderful piece. It's a Gloria from a Mass. But this is by a composer by the name of Jose Mauricio Nunez Garcia. Now, this is probably a composer you've never heard of because we're so used to singing pieces by dead white guys. But, <laughs> but, Gar but Garcia is an amazing composer who lived in Brazil, uh, a black man who was the, a descendant of slaves, of enslaved people, but became one of the great composers of Brazil. He lived exactly, almost to the, almost to the year, his lifespan was almost exactly the same as Beethoven's. He was born in the late 1700s and uh, died in the early 1800s. And uh, he brought Mozart and so many other um, wonderful music to Brazil. And uh, he also was an amazing composer. So I thought it might be good to sort of uh, let this man's music be heard because it rarely is. Uh, after that is a beautiful piece of music called Skipping Stone. And it's actually four different lyrics that are strung together to sound like one song. But I ask you to please listen to the words carefully. It all tells about how... Uh, I may be one small voice, but you know, I, I, I may not be able to you know, trouble all the waters, but I can cast a stone and just create a ripple that hopefully can so and create many ripples. And that's kind of the theme. And it's going to end with a great spiritual arrangement by Rollo Dilworth, who is an UMSL alum who is now a world-renowned musician. But we're really happy that he uh, is an alum from this very school uh, here at UMSL, and it's called By and By. So those are the three pieces, and I really really know that you're going to love it. And if you don't mind really quickly, could we just give a hand to Zach Newman, who's been our, comp our uh, uh, companist all day. All right. So here is the 2023 Desley High School Honors Choir under the direction of Jim Henry.
I hope, how about that choir, by the way? And how about those visual arts students? I hope you all had an opportunity to stop by. I hope you all had an opportunity to stop by their gallery opening. They had some fascinating work, thoughtful work, uh, artistic statements that were very, very intriguing and deep. I was very impressed. Uh, they've been working really hard today with their clinician, my colleague, Dr. Jennifer Fisher. Dr. Fisher is Assistant Professor of Art Education here at UMSL. Here to share more about the Desley Festival Art Gallery, please welcome Dr. Jennifer Fisher. Thank you so much for coming here this evening. It's always great to be here at the Desley Fine Arts Festival. Uh, the first year that Dr. Smith asked me to be a part of this, he said, we have this music festival. Do you think the visual arts can be part of it? And I said, I don't know, but we're going to find out. And it turned out wonderfully. From the very first year, I have exceptional groups of young artists. I have exceptional teachers. And these students never fail to amaze me with their creativity, their thoughtfulness, and their artistry. This year, we had a theme, a loose theme, uh, which was Ignite which you will notice is one of the songs this evening. Uh, our fantastic choir just, uh, I feel like they took me to church on a Tuesday night, uh, but I am so excited to be here and share with you some of the visual artwork. So as our music groups change, I hope you will join me by watching the brief slideshow of what our students did today, the artwork that they created, and if you are available, please, after the concert, go and see down in the main lobby all of this stuff. It's amazing what these kids kids made with nothing but tape. So I hope you will enjoy it and please note that we will be announcing our best of show winner. The student who won best of show will be participating in a uh, college art show with the art education students here at UMSL that will be held in gallery 210 at the Fine Arts Building later this year. Thank you so much and have a wonderful evening.
My name is Renita Lorman, and I am the founder and director of Suzuki Harmony STL and the co-chair of the Festival Orchestra. We are happy to welcome parents, teachers, and students for the festival after a long hiatus after COVID. This year's festival includes students from over 16 music programs from across the St. Louis area. I believe there are about 92 students here on stage tonight from the orchestra. Students have worked so hard with our clinician to put together an awesome program that we are certain you will enjoy. My name is Blake Hernson, or, uh, Director of Orchestras at Rittner School District and also co-chair of the Orchestra Festival. As a product of the E. Desmond Lee Festival during my own high school experience, it is such an honor to serve students, to provide music educational programming for meaningful experiences to all of our students. We would like to extend a special thanks to our clinician, Mr. Shane Williams, who's offered his time energy and expertise to make lasting memories for our students. We also would like to thank the Ariana String Quartet for performing and offering opportunities for our students to extend their technique. We know that today has been inspiring for our students and encourages them to pursue a lifelong love of music and learning. A special thanks to all University of Missouri St. Louis faculty and staff for offering the beautiful stage at the Two Hill and their time to connect with our students. And without further ado, please welcome Mr. Shane Williams and the E. Desmond Lee Festival Orchestra.
I need to breathe now. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. This is the Desmond Lee High School Orchestra. Let's give them another round of applause. That first piece we performed, Ignite. We wanted to ignite you. We wanted to get something going and increase your, your thoughts about what's coming next. The next piece is Russian Sailor's Dance. And what we would like to do is we would like to take our music and draw a picture in your mind. Imagine a white canvas. Imagine sailors that have been out at sea. Imagine that the wind hasn't come for three weeks and their boat's been stagnant. Imagine all the different characters. Imagine the anxiety when they see sharks swimming around. This is Russian Sailor's Dance.
this next selection, Rosa Midre, written by Ralph Von Williams. I talked to the students about the importance of playing a composer who was no longer living. He could no longer speak for himself. And so it was their responsibility to understand who he was, who his contemporaries were, and to be able to communicate through their music what he would have said to you. It's very important for students when they learn music to not just play notes, but to become that voice, to become that storyteller through the music. This piece is so beautiful. I hope you enjoy Rosa Midre.
Can we say beautiful? Yes. Just lovely. Yes. That's, they make beautiful music. I want to thank you for letting your kids be part of this today. I really do. They are full of life. They're full of music. And it's just truly been a joy all day long to work with them, to, to laugh with them, to focus with them, to watch them grow. And I am so appreciative, as we all are here at UMSL, to have these students come and partake of the Desmond Lee Collaborative. We thank you so much. This last, thank you, this, <laughs> this last piece is, I think it's very important for the students to see their music come to life. And so this last piece entitled Libertango, we have their music coming to life with a dancer who will interpret the rhythms improvisationally and let them see a visual of what they're playing. Would you please help me welcome Ms. Taylor Kenner. Let's start this. Ready? One, two, ready, and. Now, I need everybody to participate. I need you snapping your fingers. Good. Now, I can tell not everybody's snapping their fingers, so look at the person beside you. If they're not, just look at them and say, get with it, come on. Here we go. That's right, lady up here, she's got the little, here we go. You're gonna love this. Keep. Keep doing it all the way through. One, two, three.
The Desley Fine Arts Festival is but one aspect of the work and activities of the Desley Fine Arts Education Collaborative. Through the collaborative, students and teachers from the Desley schools and school districts have opportunities to participate in many experiences such as in-school master classes, field trips to concerts, recitals, plays, and art galleries that are provided by a number of outstanding St. Louis area fine arts organizations. You'll find the names of these organiza organizations listed in the back of your program. We'd like to feature one of these collaborative partners tonight. Please join me in welcoming students from Gateway Science Academy and their music teacher, Ms. Catherine Van Winkle, to the stage as they come to share some of what they have learned from their participation in a program provided one of, by one of our Desley Fine Arts Collaborative Partners, Scottish Partnerships for Arts and Education, Diane McCullough, Artistic Director. Ms. Van Winkle. So while we're getting things up, this is Gateway Science Academy. We um, participated in a workshop that was um, sponsored by Scottish Partners Education. Um, don't remember the exact terminology, but we had two workshops with a man named Brian um, McNeil from Scotland, and we um, learned three pieces from him. So enjoy.
So that was Hugo Axe, our fiddler from our group, who's had a lot of experience with fiddling, and we are Gateway Science Academy. Again, um, we are very grateful for the Scottish partners for sponsoring the workshop um, that we had, and we can learn this great music. Thank you. It has been quite an evening. I am normally scripted for this, and I am not. I'm going to go away from the script because this is an amazing year. To come back after three years of COVID, many of these schools have had no arts in, for music at all, and only limited arts in other ways. I cannot convey to you parents how excited the children, children, young adults were today. It was a joyous day in every ensemble. Please make sure that you support arts in your schools and drag administration out as much as they do for sports. Your students have been so amazing today. The focus in every group has been exemplary and the clinicians have been very excited to work with them. More so, I gotta say, than in many, many years I've been part of this group. The founder of the E. Desmond Lee Collaborative, Desmond, would have been so excited this evening to see what's going on and to know that his legacy is a part of this. For the band portion, Mr. David Wasick is a new member of the University of Missouri St. Louis and essentially he's the professor of all things instrumental uh, with other collaborators. He has done magic with the students that you've brought to us tonight. I ask you to read your program. I'm not gonna go on and on, but the teachers that work with your students are not being paid to be here tonight. Those teachers, out of the commitment that they have for music and your kids, come out day after day to make things happen for your children, just like you are. And thank you for being here tonight. I want to introduce for you this evening the E. Desmond Lee Fine Arts Education Collaborative High School Band. Thank you.
Good evening. We've all been here for a long time now. This is a nice long evening of beautiful art making. Um, so I will only speak once and very briefly. Um, so it's been such a joy to work with these students. And um, honestly, every time they did something amazing, I tried to recruit them into UMSL. And that's only a partial joke. I really want them to come to UMSL. So th this has been one of the most wonderful honor bands, festival bands that I've had the, uh, uh, the honor to, to conduct because they came right away and they were just focused and ready to try new things, ready to think about music in a different way, and it's just been fantastic. Um, we'll do two more pieces. This next piece is called Song, Song from Mother Gaia, which is just Gaia translates to Earth, so Song from Mother Earth. Um, it's all of, it comes from a poem of what we take from the Earth and what we can give back to the Earth. Um, and what makes this so difficult is that it comes with so much dissonance, and you're going to hear, and in this case dissonance, you know what it means, but it just, in this case, in this piece, it means one chord works, another chord works, and then when you put them together, they work in a completely unique way. And so you're going to hear that, um, and it makes it really difficult to play, really difficult to tune, and they've tackled it really well. So thank you very much.
Thank you again. Thank, thank you again for coming. Feel free to return tomorrow evening when we'll do this all over again with middle schoolers. Just a couple of words about traffic control here. There are about 450 students who are going to be starting to head into the lobby. And if you are already in the lobby, it just makes a big conglomerated uh, crunch. So if you could just pause and wait here, maybe some of the students will come and find you and let them get a head start so that we can uh, uh, unravel and don't get all crunched in the lobby. Thanks so much. Please do drive safely and uh, please do take your children home.